it's now now I'm going to switch it I'm going to switch it to the other setting and see if there's a change no I wonder if this is a if this has actually got a slow motor in it I guess we'd have to or a slow speed motor we'd have to open up the other part of it to tell I guess, I guess this is a 122 this is a B2 here. Yeah, this is a one, model 122. Okay. So it should have both speed motors in it. And this has got the Trek 2 kit in it. Take a look inside of it here. All of the B2 electronics have been replaced with the Trek 2 solid state preamp and the reverb spring unit. One possible area of concern is this wiring here. It's still got some old rubber wiring right in here. Now some of it has been replaced, but some of it hasn't. So that may be something to do to kind of just improve the safety of it. It sounds like it's I've got a zoom spout in here, and also a Hammond organ generator oil. Here's the inside of the Leslie 122 cabinet. Motor date codes are from late 74 and uh, early 75. Down here, Looks like this amplifier is from 1976. It's got a 1976 date code on this tube here. that's gotten on this belt because it was right next to the motor where mm -hmm. somebody had oiled it. So we'll just try to until we can actually replace it and see if this helps the performance. The zoom spout, we're going to oil the horn bearing on the Leslie 122. Yeah. Yeah, it just came to a just came to a stop. Try try the other setting. Huh. It actually stopped before I even hit it. Oh yeah, it just everything just stopped. Yeah, oh, they have a connection issue. Well the amp is still on. Hmm. Let's just see if Let's see if the mo if these motors might be. No, I don't feel. Almost like the fuse went. Well, now I'm getting a little bit of motion here. See, it's trying. Okay, now. Right now, we're having a problem with this Leslie where the slow speed motors aren't running, so I'm trying to interchange the Leslie cords just to see if uh, see if I can get the slow motors to run. I know at the bottom here the slow motor is running. I need to make sure that I've got the, the cords for the top here, and I think this is the, this is the slow, the white is the slow cord here. No. Okay, 
had to sped up, didn't it? Well, and that was the lower. I'm sorry, something kicked in. Oh, okay, maybe it was. Yeah, I need to make sure that I just get the. Let's make sure I got the correct cords here. These are the cords for the lower. These are the cords for the upper. And okay, this. Slow should be wide, so I'm going to try plugging in the. Here's the Leslie amplifier, and we've got paper capacitors in here. We've got a really burned relay. If you zoom in on that, see there's a lot of burning right there. That contact is just totally burned up, so that would explain the intermittency of the Leslie motors. It's got some new mylar in it. It's got some. It looks like it may have had some... Are those 047s? Um, let's see. Those are .0047 actually. Okay. I'll say it'd be easy enough to replace those. Yeah. Let's see. Just another typical Sunday at Retro Electronics and Audio.